This story comes alive with AI-generated images, creating stunning visuals in every video. Let's begin. Black Widow begins with a flashback to 1995 in Ohio, where a young Natasha Romanoff lives with her younger sister, Yelena Belova, and their parents, Alexei Shostakov and Melina Vostokov. The family appears to be a normal suburban unit, but it is soon revealed that Alexei and Melina are Russian spies on an undercover mission in the United States. When their mission is complete, they escape to Cuba, where the family is torn apart as the young girls are taken away and sent to the Red Room, a covert Soviet training program that turns young girls into lethal assassins known as Black Widows. The story then jumps forward to 2016, shortly after the events of Captain America Civil War. Natasha is now a fugitive, on the run from the U.S. government for violating the Sokovia Accords. Hiding out in a safe house in Norway, Natasha tries to live a quiet life, but her past soon catches up with her when she is attacked by Taskmaster, a mysterious and deadly assassin with the ability to mimic the fighting styles of anyone they encounter. Natasha narrowly escapes and discovers that the attack was linked to a package she received from her estranged sister, Yelena, who is now also a highly trained assassin and former Black Widow. The package contains vials of a red gas that can neutralize the mind control serum used on the Black Widows, freeing them from the Red Room's control. Realizing that the Red Room is still active and controlling women around the world, Natasha reunites with Yelena in Budapest. In Budapest, Natasha and Yelena are ambushed by Taskmaster again, but they manage to escape and go on the run together. Yelena reveals that the Red Room, led by the ruthless General Drakov, is still operational and more dangerous than ever. Drakov, who was believed to be dead after Natasha's defection to S.H.I.E.L.D. years earlier, has been using mind control to create an army of black widows to carry out his will across the globe. To stop Drakov, Natasha and Yelena decide to reunite their family from Ohio. They first break Alexei, now known as the Red Guardian, a Soviet super soldier and Russia's answer to Captain America out of prison. Despite his boastful and larger-than-life personality, Alexei is excited to be reunited with his daughters and joins their mission. The trio then tracks down Melina, who is living on a remote farm and working as a scientist for Drakov, perfecting the mind control technology. At Melina's farm, the group shares a tense yet heartfelt reunion, discussing the artificial nature of their family and the emotional scars they all carry from their time as spies. Melina reveals that she has been in contact with Drakov and that the Red Room is not a physical location, but a mobile, heavily guarded flying fortress. Melina betrays the group by alerting Drakov to their presence, leading to their capture and transportation to the Red Room. However, it is later revealed that Natasha and Melina had switched places using facial disguise technology, allowing them to infiltrate the Red Room. Natasha confronts Drakov, only to discover that Taskmaster is none other than Drakov's daughter, Antonia, who was severely injured years ago during Natasha's attempted assassination of Drakov. He has since turned her into a relentless, brainwashed soldier. Drakov reveals his plans to use the Black Widows to manipulate global events and consolidate his power. However, Natasha is unable to kill him due to a pheromonal lock he has engineered into the Widows, preventing them from harming him. Natasha deliberately breaks her own nose, severing the nerve that allows her to smell, and fights back against Drakov. With the help of Yelena, Alexei, and Melina, Natasha is able to destroy the Red Room and free the remaining Black Widows from Drakov's control. Yelena kills Drakov by setting off an explosion in his helicopter, while Natasha helps Antonia break free from her mind control. The remaining Widows, now free, decide to take down the remnants of the Red Room's influence around the world, with Yelena leading them. As the Red Room crumbles, Natasha retrieves the vials of the red gas and gives them to Yelena, 
along with the information needed to free the other black widows. The family parts ways, with Natasha expressing her gratitude and love for them, acknowledging that they were the closest thing to a real family she ever had. The film ends with Natasha acquiring a new jet and equipment, hinting at her upcoming mission to free the imprisoned Avengers from the raft, setting up her role in Avengers Infinity War.